Now, the Duchess of Kent has been in Hull today to promote her charity, Future Talent. The charity aims to give music a greater priority in schools across the country and is being piloted at the Wandsbeck Primary School, where the Duchess has secretly taught music for 12 years. Well, in a moment, I shall be meeting the Duchess, but first, our social affairs correspondent, Vicky Johnson, has this. The Wandsbeck School Orchestra was set up just six weeks ago and already it's performing before an audience of Hull's great and good. Specialist music teacher Lizzie Manuel is being paid by Future Talent, the Duchess of Kent's new charity. Here they've had a lot more opportunity because Mrs Kent's been here for a number of years. So um, it, they've had a lot of music. Um, but over, for instance, in Long Hill School, because of the lack of finance, they haven't had anything really. Mrs Kent, as the children call her, returned today to see how her former pupils were getting on and she couldn't resist joining in. <laughs> Teachers here say music's been vital in building confidence. Everybody that comes to Wandsbeck Primary School particularly notices happy children everywhere and a totally positive ethos and I believe that music has been an important contributor to that. Pupils don't know how it's benefiting them, they just know they love it. I like doing solos and um, we do lots of brilliant songs and I like songs that, are, that have high notes in. I like playing the drums with all my friends. I like it because it's fun and we get to play all sorts of things. I just like my music and uh, I just enjoy it a lot. Future Talent started in East Hull but it aims to make music accessible to children right across the country. So while these kids concentrate on making music, it's up to the adults to make enough money to spread the good work. Well, we've seen the uh, children there. They call you Mrs Kent, don't they? Would you like me to call you Duchess? I'd rather you call me Catherine. Catherine, Please. Catherine it is then. Welcome to Hull. Thank you. I mean, we, we all know now, you're, you're no strangers in the city, are you? You've been coming no, for... No, I for... think of Hull as my home, actually. And you say the last 12 years have been the best of your life? They've been absolutely amazing. Absolutely Why amazing. Why is that? I suppose seeing children grow the way these have grown in Wandsworth Primary School. And uh, I mean, as a teacher, if you, if you, if you passionately love uh, music, the most rewarding thing in the world you can ever do is to see the children you're teaching suddenly realising why you love it so much and they've sh shared your love of it and excitement of it as well. Can you understand how surprised the rest of us were when we found out what you've been doing for so long in, in this city? I mean, I couldn't no, believe it when I found not out. Not really, no. I come from Yorkshire anyway, didn't I? You know, I was come from hobby near but York. It's the fact that you were here away. and you were helping with music in, in a school in Hull. I mean, yeah. it was... I suppose so, yes. It was breathtaking. It suited me. It suited you? Yeah. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Now, after 10 years, you must have developed quite a, an affection for the city, mustn't you, and its people? I love it, yes. I honestly feel every time I arrive here in my train, I feel I'm home. I think it's a wonderful place, huh? That's a lovely thing to say. You obviously think music is important. What can music do that, that other subjects can't? Well, it encompasses everything. I remember saying to a child, uh, um, just before he took his stats last year, an 11-year-old, just walk tall into your stats. And he looked at me and said, but I'm not tall, miss. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? They, the children through music, it gives them confidence, it gives them self-belief. Well, performance leads to confidence, self-belief. Then when that happens, then they can walk into other things in their life with that confidence. And that's what music does. Have the parents given you a lot of support as well? Oh, yes. Enormous. A lot of them are great friends of mine now. How will Future Talent help, help these children in Hull and, and others across, across the country? Well, I suppose after this length of time in one school, and I'm glad I just stayed at one school, because uh, then I think you learn so much more about, in depth about a place. I felt that there were quite a lot of children I taught who could have gone to the top in music, who could have had a career in music. And I didn't really feel there was a clear enough pathway for these children. There wasn't an obvious route for them to take. There isn't a step by step to get there. And the Future Talent was launched to really put that in place. Stepping stones for them to get to their goals. And that's what we want to do. You're so interesting, aren't you? Because at one time we saw you at Wimbledon and things mm. like that. When 
and then you sort of took a step back. Was that, was that because you, you wanted to be private and, and, and you were in the glare too much and you wanted to do something more I don't think there was any logical maybe. process of thinking like that. This came into my life and I took it. And I've reveled in it. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, you obviously have. Yes. So I is have. this is this the same more rewarding what you've done today? And you know, you, you've done. You've been there today. You've been sitting here with me talking now. The others are at Ascot, aren't they? Yeah, at York too, my, <laughs> my hometown as well. No, Where today, would you rather be then? Oh, here. His children are one bit primary. That's the right answer, isn't it? Hope so. Being in the royal family is, is, is sort of, you know, you, you're constantly in, in the public glare as well. Do you prefer being away from that? Are things like this an ordeal? I think it's very impolite to say that. No, I don't feel like that at all. Um, but teaching, it, I think on the whole, I, I am... Um, I like melding into the background quite a bit more than anything else. And I think teaching is something I enjoy doing. You're passing on a passion and that's what I... Feel I'm good at. And to stress the last 12 years while you've been doing this have been the most rewarding. They've been immensely rewarding, yes. You spent a lot of time. Clark, I mean, I think when, they, when you're teaching, the children actually teach you more than you can ever teach them. There's one book I read in a course I did the other day which said, A classroom is a room full of learners. And it's so true. Well, uh, Duchess, Catherine, lovely to see you. You spent Thank a you. lot of time in Hull. You're not worried you're going to pick up some of the Hull accent, are you? I have already. Have you? Yeah, it always comes back straight away when I what come back What do you say here. in Hull? Then? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you say, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's possibly the only programme that's got that on tape. <laughs> very nice to see you, Duchess. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lovely meeting you.